Which you guys are going to be building a PC today and then activating Windows on this system. This is not how to build a PC, uh, but basically you'll get the general idea of building PCs. Now this is a Ryzen 5600X and to put these in the socket, you just have to pull the lever up and then line it up with the triangle on the board and pull the lever down. Now on the more modern Ryzen processors, they don't have pins on the chip anymore. They're actually on the board. So that's more modern PC build, and I'll be doing that in the next uh, few days, and you'll be able to watch the full length of that, and I'll be doing a how-to on that one. Uh, so just going to be putting the M.2 NVMe drive in here. This is the Sabrinth, uh drive here. Now, if you're looking for storage for games, then you will need to add in a uh, hard drive for this one. Uh, so I'm just going to put the cover plate back on here. Make sure the thermal pad sticker has been removed, and then just screw this down. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, on a PC build nowadays, nothing too difficult about building PCs in 2023. Now, if you're looking to build your own PC and you don't know what parts to pick, then you can always ask for advice on our Discord server. Be happy to help you pick parts out there and pick all the correct parts for your budget so you get a nice balanced system. Next up, we're just going to be putting in uh, the RAM and just make sure the notch is lined up on the board and then just click it into position here. And that is pretty much that done. I've just got one more stick here to do. Just pull the little retention levers back and then clip them into place. You should hear a click and that should be done. Just make sure that's down. There we go. And we can now move on to the radiator here. I'm just going to mount these radiator fans on the radiator itself. Make sure they're orientated in the right direction and make sure the cables are pointed in the right direction. And I'm just going to screw these down. And then we can mount this inside the case. There's a Corsair one here. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and get the motherboard into the actual case here. Now make sure the standoffs are in the right location on the case. That's all you need to do here. And then you can screw down onto those standoffs. Most of these nowadays are pre-installed, the standoffs, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But if you are changing the board size, then make sure that you don't have any sort of standoffs touching the board underneath otherwise you can short out the board so i'm just going to go ahead and put the radiator in now that's all in and i'm just going to screw this down on the top and uh, we will have the fans inside here uh, on the actual radiator here so they'll be pulling air through the actual radiator let's go ahead and uh, mount the bracket onto the actual pump here just going to pull this one off because this is for an intel system and we are using uh, the amd system now this is a strange one because the actual brackets on the motherboard will use as clips on here. This is how the Corsair one is mounted to the actual bracket here. So you don't have to remove the plastic clips, which I did actually do, and I had to put them back. Now I'm just going to put the uh, power supply in. I've already put the cables in. I try to use modular power supplies whenever possible. Cost a bit more, but makes building a lot more easier. I'm just going to tighten these screws up, and once that's done, the power supplies in do a bit of cable management here and also plug in all the cables onto the motherboard now if you want to see a more how to build a computer then let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to make that video for you i've made videos in the past which pretty much are timeless really you can use that method to build all computers it doesn't really matter uh, because things don't change that much uh, when it comes to building a pc now we just need to drop the graphics card in and we are pretty much good to go. So let's get the graphics card slotted in here. Now, one of the difficult things about building PCs is when you're trying to build it and record it at the same time, you have a big tripod in a way, and it makes it very difficult to get uh, the things lined up correctly. So that is sometimes the reason why you're fumbling around there. It's not so easy when you've got a big tripod there or you're trying to lean over the tripod to get things aligned properly. Let me go ahead and get the cables in here and I can do a bit of cable management a bit later on. You can see there's a bit of sag on that card there. So I will be putting a brace there and that is pretty much it. That is the build all finished and complete. Very simple and easy to do building computers nowadays. If you want help building a PC, then join our Discord server. I'll be happy to give you some advice on parts. But first off, let's go ahead and get this activated. And I'm going to need a CD key for that. So the sponsor of this video is CD Key Sales. You can head over to cdkeysales.com. Links will be in the video description. And you can purchase all your Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro, or Office keys over there, even games over there for cheap keys. And you can use my promo code 
capital B, capital R, zero nine, and you'll be able to get a nice 30% discount on all of your purchases. So here we have Windows 10 Pro OEM key. This is a global key, lifetime activated. Now, CD Key Sales have been a sponsor of my channel for some time, and uh, you know we work closely together. I've had no problems with uh, people coming back telling me that there is issues with these keys. They're all legit keys. You can purchase them and activate Windows. No problem at all. And if there is a problem, they do have a little chat window there which you can actually talk to them and they will try and help you the best they can. So if you're looking for an Office product here or maybe you want a combo Office on a Windows key, they do that as well. And again, you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09. I'll show you the full process right now because I'm going to be buying a key and we're going to be activating it on this PC. So let's go ahead and click Windows 10 Pro because uh, I'm going to be putting Windows 10 Pro on here. And this is it right here. And uh, you can see you can click the buy now. You will need an account uh, for this so you can get the key sent to you. Once you've done this, you can type in here capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. There is also one right here you can click on. Once you've done that, this will apply this discount to your order. And then all you need to do is submit your order and then go over to the section where it says PayPal, select PayPal. As you can see, the payment's gone through and the confirmation will be sent to your account here. And then you'll be able to see your keys listed in your account. Once you've got those keys, you'll be able to go over to Windows once you've got it installed. Click on Windows Activation Center here, and basically you'll be able to enter your product key that you just got here. You can see Windows 10 Pro is not activated. You can also upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free. And I'm just going to be basically putting in my key here. So let me copy and paste my key into this section here, and I'll just quickly paste it in. There we go. And all I need to do now is push next, and this will then go off and activate my version of Windows for me. And you can see here by activating Windows, you will get the best experience. So let's go ahead and click on activate and you can see it right here. It will activate my version of Windows for me. And there you go, Windows is activated. Now, if you've purchased Office and you wanna activate that, I've made videos on that in the past. So you can go back and check some of my previous videos. If you wanna see an updated video on that, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. So you can see that these keys do work in real time and they do actually activate where some people are a little bit skeptical sometimes and they will say that these are fake keys they're not fake they are legitimate keys as you can see here and they're being activated inside windows using the activation center and no scripts or anything like that with this particular type of activation as you can see anyway that is going to be about it that is this one done i hope you've enjoyed the video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Check out my Discord server if you need any help on picking your PC parts. Also, I will be having another full build coming up very soon. This one was more of a shorter one, but I will have a more full length build with an ITX system with a RTX 4070 Ti in it, believe it or not. So stay tuned for that one. Also, guys, let me know in the comments section below what sort of content you are interested in viewing, because at the moment, views are pretty low and I'm making content and I'm not sure it's what you want to see. So let me know what sort of content you like in the comments section below by just tagging something like Windows uh, tutorials or fix it videos or whatever it is, build videos, product reviews, whatever it is you want to put down there. Let me know. I'll be interested to read your comments because it lets me know so I can make the correct content for you guys. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.